Yeah, that would be the final series that Brazil and Quincy Crew would be playing. And I think at that point, and nothing against Team Brazil, Quincy Crew will probably have the top spot locked up. Just saying. Oh, oh, no doubt. No doubt. It's, it is already secured for them at this point. They are at 10 wins, zero losses. Uh, I believe the, the next top team is Beast Coast. 10 and uh, 4. They have 10 and 4. You know, it, it is possible for Beast Coast to take that top slot, but... Um, They've been switching up their players a little bit. Uh, I think that it really kind of messes with the team synergy. Uh, yesterday, in fact, we just saw uh, Chris Luck get replaced by Tomato. Um, inside the lobby, they were talking. It sounded like it would have been for the rest of this tournament. Uh, hmm. But I'm not 100% certain. You know, things change. Uh, this did doesn't change. Uh, yeah, you saw uh, the manager came in the Discord and... Or sorry, not disc, with a lobby and quickly said, okay, Tamana's going to be replacing Five Chris seconds. Luck. I uh, was busy with uh, internal problems. Not internal problems. Well, sounds like uh, they got some internal problems over at uh, East Coast as well. But Crystal Maiden picked up next an Aoi specialty. You know, we got uh, that Moon Meander Moon Earth Spirit, the Aoi Crystal Maiden. And finally, we see Death Prophet come out from Team okay. Brazil. Okay. They've seen some success with this one. I like what they got going on here. And they got some very aggressive heroes here. Of course, uh, them being able to, to bring down... Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm getting such kind messages right now, you know? Just me uh, flaming <laughs> myself. It's going to sound like I'm baiting for compliments here. Uh, but I genuinely believe that I'm not good at math, yeah. everybody. Man. So... Death Prophet picked up here next. Um, you know, uh, I, I like this one. Uh, this, Death Prophet's seen a lot of success this time. Oh, I think the only time it didn't work out was, I think, once uh, from Kezu. Uh, yeah, I think so. And that was against Quincy Crew, wasn't it? Yeah. Also, a... Arc Warden He's... against TB. Thoughts? Ten seconds. Uh... Uh, I definitely prefer Terra Blade. I would say again, um, he the Bubble Boy likes to sit inside his bubble. Uh, mm -hmm. Terra Blade has to gap that distance. Um, we could see something like an Abyssal Blade uh, for that purpose. We've seen Abyssal and Terra Blade uh, already once this series, I believe. Um, I was telling you about that game that I had to play, like the Blink Abyssal uh, Egg and Scepter Terra Blade in order to win. Uh, it yeah. could be something that we see here. That, no, that's not. Stop that. That is not something we're going to see here. <laughs> Brazil run it, you know? Uh, been talking a lot with their managers. They've been uh, watching some Neff replays. They've been watching Neff stream highlights, man. Yeah. Uh, Storm Spirit banned out next here. Um, yeah, that makes sense as well. Again, when you got the Arc Warden, you want to stop the enemies from being able to just run at your back line. Kunkka will is a hero that's good at that as well. Uh, your tanky frontliner hero, although you've got some decent bulk in the front line in the form of Sand King and Ogre Magi, even though they're supports. The Death Prophet, um, of course, is a pretty tanky hero herself, being able to sort of run into the enemy heroes uh, with that Soul Siphon mm -hmm. or Spirit Siphon, some sort of Siphon ability. Uh, Underlord banned out here last. We'll see what they use to round this out, but they're certain that this Death Prophet will be in the off lane here. I'm surprised this Bloodseeker made it so late in the draft and didn't get picked. Like, I feel like I would have picked it over the Arc Warden. I don't think Arc Warden's getting banned, and if I wanted Bloodseeker, I would have taken it then. Seconds. Like, getting mm. banned in the last phase is kind of crazy to me. I watched it last night. Um, LGD seconds. were playing it. Or, um, not LGD, actually, uh, Aster played it. And XSS had, like, such a game with it um it was kind of wild like bloodseeker just feels so good right now the fact that it's making it this late in the drafts is pretty surprising yeah that's right uh but you know it was uh, not long ago Ooh, where Volker. bloodseeker being picked up was completely baffling to everybody so maybe team brazil just not one of those people that acknowledges it is that strong of a hero sure. Boker picked up here last though how do you feel about that one i think uh this hero used to be very exciting to me, you know? I liked watching my Exhort Invokers. Tons of damage. The Sun Strike's uh, miserable to try and observe because people decided to sort of die somewhere on the map due to all that pure damage. But mm -hmm. as, like, uh, watching action happen in the game, the Invoker definitely uh, made things happen with the Exhort. And the Boss Wax is kind of press tornado, uh, ruin team fights, uh, run away with Ghost Walk. Like, that is your typical Invoker player. 
Wait, who's Spirits Mini? This isn't a player on their roster, and I did not touch on this at all. We did not even notice. Yeah, yeah like, it's supposed to be goes to B Lay, 4DR, King RD, Flea, and KJ. So I guess 4DR is not here, and Mini. Who's Mini? Uh, <laughs> is that 4DR? No, Mini is a. No, this is Mini from Sweden. Okay, that. No, nope. Okay. 10 seconds. You know, we'll get back to you guys on that one. Uh, Five, seven, you know, sometimes seven, the eight. chat's the expert here, and this is one of those situations. So we got Vile on the Invoker, HFN on the Arcord, Owie 2000, Crystal Maiden, Mimanda Earth Spirit, Kezu Nature's Prophet, and uh, Flea, Sand King, goes to be Lay, Terror Blade, uh, Ogre Magi is KJ here, and King RD on the Death Prophet, and uh, Zeus is to be determined. Uh, yeah. Mini. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't even like touch on that at all. It just kind of happened. Yep. You now life comes at you fast here. <laughs> uh, players disconnecting and reconnecting quite a bit. Is so, that our so go-to you... phrase for the event? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> life comes at you fast. I'm down for it. Be the the catchphrase. <laughs> We'll see what uh, they decide to do here, though. Um, you know, I, I don't like Death Prophet that much here. I don't feel like it's that easy for you to run into the enemy heroes with the Spirit Siphon. You got a lot of distance to gap. You're playing against four ranged heroes. The only hero that you're going to get on top of is uh, Moon Meander, and usually that works the other way around. Because, again, uh, he just kind of rolls at you, uh, silences you, uh, makes your initiation kind of miserable. Uh, the enemies have a lot of time to react uh, to King RD, just like trying to uh, yules them, run at them with the Soul Siphon. Uh, the counter initiation is very easy for them. So they got to run a fast paced lineup. They got to force Crazy in these unfavorable fights as they start to take towers earlier on, I feel. But uh, historically in this tournament, that's not how Costa Bilai likes to, to play on this terror play. He goes in the jungle, he shoves out lanes with his illusions. He out farms the enemies, and while well, he does a very good job fighting, uh, once he has all this gold, it does take him a little bit to get online. That is what you sound like. Hmm. Mockery coming out from both teams here. <laughs> what is going on? Hearing all this noise from HFN all of a sudden. I mean, he's, uh, this is the strat, you know? You place, uh, dozens of spark wraiths, uh, what's starting at the 47 mark. Anyone walks into it, they're killed. Unfortunately, I'm no one going vulnerable. There's a couple heroes I can deal with it, you know, like, you know, oh, flee? Cold snap, rolling boulder, Moomiander. Trying to get this kill, gets hit with a fire blast. All of a sudden, Moomiander might be first blood. Flea's okay in the sandstorm. South pop by Moomiander. Just survives. Always by detection when you play against Sand King, everybody. Always trying to get to detection when you play against that Sand King. They still get the kill on a Flea, though. Ogre Magi dies. Flea and KJ go down. The TP out of there. Look at that. Makes more sense than uh, taking all those right clicks. You know, he's got the Orb of Venom on Earth Spirit. Uh, punish him for it. You know, just teleport away. Easy. Owie and Moon. Uh, they start to make their way back down the bottom. Moon says, you know what? No, we're not going to be able to kill the heroes at this point. This guy's too invisible inside the sandstorm. So he goes top, and Kazu almost goes down, in fact. Fire Blast and the Ogre Magi, the Orb of Venom. And of course, we're gonna have a very boring time in the mid lane here, B Cop. What? Don't tell me that. Please don't tell me that. I, I don't like when you say boring time. I, I'm gonna be real with you, though. I, I'm i a man of the people. The people don't like watching Zeus Arc Lightning, no damage coming out from this spell, versus like Koas Wex Invokers, or he's just gonna heal up to full. The action, you know, it's all gonna be moon like usual when we see these crazy games. 
He makes the plays happen. He pulls the creeps uh, as a real nuisance. And then all of a sudden, you know, you look away from him for one moment. Suddenly he's on top of your mid lane. He's on top of your bottom lane. I mean, I'm very interested to see if Costa Bioi can just lock up farm again. Denied. Because it seems like every time we watch him play this TV, he just locks up the most unnecessary amount of farm. <laughs> you know, that's just uh, how you're supposed to play carry, though. Uh, you always take more than you need. Uh, you just try to blow up the enemy ears as quickly as possible. So I, I always have flashbacks to that uh, Raidu Pickle A game where he just 1v5 the enemy team on the Terror Blade. And we have his solid team behind him, and he does now with Team Brazil. Um, something like this should be easy for him. Yeah. I mean, he has been playing really well. It has been very impressive from Costa Bui thus far. Which I hope I'm saying that right, Costa Bui. Ooh, I'm being, being hit with those facts right now again. Uh, the apparently, facts. Uh, 4DR... Uh, needs Mini to stand in for him due to net issues. Okay. Huh. I wish it was that easy where I could just get a stand in. <laughs> I have net issues. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hot topic, Bicup. <laughs> uh, it's too soon, too soon. I have a tech coming out tomorrow. Um, so, King RD in the off lane. I, and I like this. So, we were talking about this yesterday. The four position sanking and so it was really good from flea yesterday and then i'll be honest i saw it get played Ooh, hold on over me mini in trouble boulder smash good rotation burrow strike lands keeps mini alive but just barely i bet uh, bryos wishing he had a sun strike right about now but nice rotation there by flea and uh you know he's gonna tax him a little bit here on mini you know he thinks okay if i have to come down to this lane to help you out i'm gonna take a few uh last hits here we'll move back down to my lane may not be the time that king rd wants to be sending out high fives all of a sudden spirit siphon it's uh you know very close to you die oh very close it is you dying uh you know you try to get that high five you try to entice somebody and all of a sudden, he ended up dead. You know, he had eight wand charges when he died there. It's the last hit flew at him. Uh, so, uh, a little bit questionable there by King RD going down. I don't think he had to. And when you press the button. Top lane. Goes to Bela getting gone on. Moon Meander rolling out of it, but he's just got too much armor for them to finish him off with these melee attacks. 14 plus uh, 2. There's this tower, it's even higher. Oh god! They're just under the tower! Bridal all the way back here, and Kader trying to punish him, but 25 HP a second? You can't do anything about that. You can't cut through that, KJ. That club may be big, your firestorm may be strong. But, uh, yeah, that ain't happening. You know, so calm, he doesn't pop that fairy fire, he doesn't use his magic stick with five charges. Ooh, that's a rune, so he tried to go on flee, but you know, he's here too quick. Also, King RD, King RD not too fast, though. He used that wand this time, and now even with the spirit siphons, he just doesn't have what it takes to really fight back. He's forced to run. Oh, Meander, he's right around flea and just on the edge. I believe that Crystal Nova got the kill, and now we got the Frostbite. They get the kill on a flea. Crazy. Six nothing. Everything coming up crazy right now. Mid lane, we see some more action. Mini, he's getting blown up once again. Yeah, Kezu coming over. They've got the train, so get the damage, they'll get the kill. Looking you know at what? That. Is that a catapult I see here in the mid lane? Oh, I'm thinking it is. So the train's tanking it up. These heroes move in pretty close to the tower. Try and take this. This is something Crazy's been pretty good about. In fact, yeah, here they are. They rotate other heroes mid. They think, all right, we're five minutes in. We got the siege creep. Time for us to take a mid tower. Let's go. Everybody coming over. Uh, you know, to try and get this mid tower. KJ, I don't know what you're trying to come over and do, but... That is not the way to go about it. 
Bryle gets the kill. It's now eight to nothing. Tornado on the flee. And this time they do have the sentry ward. We talked about not having vision, but well, this time around, he has vision. They're gonna roll Here we go, forward Moon. right on the mini. They will go over a flea. Boulder smash. Flea in trouble. They get the kill on a mini. Can they kill off flea and make it 10 nothing? Not quite yet. He does manage to make it away, but you're a sniper here on Moon Meander with these kicks. He's forced to run away. They don't get the tower quite yet. Still sitting at 305 HP, but my god, what a push. And they're getting kills on top of him. Death Prophet down here in the bottom lane. Might go down to HFN. Oh, he gets him! But ow, he's here! Clean it up. King RD gets the One. kill on HFN. At least a 10 to 1 ratio. It's not just a 10 to nothing ratio. Uh, what was on this pretty... tower? Trying to keep it alive. But KJ now under the tower. Geomagnetic grip. Boulder smash with cold snap. There's another body wasted on the ground. I'm trying to get people in this mid lane quick though. I don't want this mid tower going there. Flea says, you know what? Enough is enough. <laughs> I'll take care of the tower myself. That goes down. So map control. Cold snap. Rolling Boulder, Mini, he comes mid just to show up and die. Flea, he's here. Now Kezu comes in, kills off the courier. Tornado out with the EMP. Flea, can you just stand there? I f well, it's mm, safer yeah, in there than it is outside. <laughs> oh, he would never walk out. Come on. Yeah. That would be a, a madman if he wanted to walk out from that. Feeling like me with this Vancouver air lately. Bottom lane. Oh, we got heroes trying to find a kill Flea. here on Flea. Forward again. Kostabile comes over. Now he's got the metamorphosis. Can he get anything done with this? They look over at Kezu. The right click damage. Thunder God's Wrath. Mini gets the kill. And now they'll go for the rest. Bryle. Here with Owie and HFN. Exorcism rolling. Ooh. Ooh. Threading the needle yeah. here on Moon. Really thread the needle. And that means he's going to die. Unfortunate. King RD now gets hit with the cold snap. Burrow strike short from Flea. A lot of these heroes pretty well on the side of Team Brazil, and they don't have Sunder to work with for the Terra Blade, so they need to back away, and they can't really pressure with this exorcism. They do get a couple of kills. It kind of sustains the game a little bit, but not what you would like by any means. No, that's, uh, let's see here. 600 net worth, uh, 700 XP going their way. So pretty happy about that on Brazil. Starting to uh, get some kills go your way. And top lane. Yeah, let me say, okay, Exorcism committed, then our God Wrath committed. Uh, I'm going to push your top lane, says Kazu. But Flea, you know, he's too quick. Reacts to this right away. It's, okay, you got my mid tower. I'm not letting you get any more map control at this point. I want things to be nice and safe for Costa Bile while he farms. Mm -hmm. And he needs to try and get that farm when we talked about it. <clears throat> As, um... You know, we were talking about how Costa Bio has just secured so much farm as this TV fleeing in trouble. With geomagnetic grip with Boulder Smash for half of nature from Kezu. That'll finish him off and well will continue to pressure the T1 Tower going back to Costa Bio though. The thing was um Okay, just give, can you guys give me a second? I just need one second. <laughs> is uh the game starting off a little bit slow. They want to pick things up for us. Exactly. But um you know, they, uh, sorry, I'm now losing track on the Coast of Bioi thought. He's always been able to secure his farm. And here at the 10 minute mark, I'll switch it over to the net worth. And he's a thousand behind HFN as well as Bryle. So things have been a little bit difficult for him. We've seen him in this position before. We'll see how it continues. Fire Blast, Freezing Field on a mini. Thunder God's Wrath is used. Damage being dealt, but just not really enough. Ice Wall is down and King RD's in a bad spot. They've got the EMP right on top of him, rolling boulder. KJ goes in front of it like get down Mr. President to let King RD leave. But KJ's now been surrounded by four heroes and he'll fall. A second gone on the side of Team Brazil, 16 to 3 in favor of Crazy. Yeah. So, Team Crazy, uh, everything going their way all over the map now. And, well, uh, you get a pretty good draft here from Team Brazil again. Hard to the Death Prophet to get close to anyone. Hard to gap that distance on uh, the Sand King. And uh, you do have like some bulky oh, no. frontline here. Oh no, Dust. you're just dead. Geomagnetic Please. grip, frostbite, 
Rolling Boulder misses. The Burrow Strike comes through, but they've got the Magnetize. Three more seconds on it. Right click comes in from Kezu to get the uh, Death Blow. Yeah, and uh, down he goes. Flea, he just can't get a break this game, and he needs to Blink Dagger super badly. So... There goes my phone. He needs his Blink Dagger super badly to uh, be able to close his distance as I was talking about. Metamorphosis HFN, he's getting pressured bottom. And an easy kill here with exorcism committed and KJ, Coast of BOA needs your health. So uh, he chose you. Which, which is nice on one hand, you know, being chosen by your carry, but not for that one. HP regen's pretty high though, this guy's uh, recovering quick. Kind of got his wrath once again. Mini seems to be using this like off cooldown. Uh, Flea trying to do everything he can over in top lane, just sandstorming under his own tier one. Oh, he's gonna go try and deny this tower. He's gonna be, he's gonna do this in time. He can. RD. All right, bottom lane. He's in trouble. Geoman at grip with the boulder smash. Kezu here, King RD, spirit siphoning, but you just can't siphon enough. No, not when, again, you need to gap that distance in order to get it off. The only hero that you're getting it onto is uh, Moon. When you're not playing against melee heroes, Death Prof becomes a lot harder. Right. Top lane fleet just denied the tower up there. I'll just uh, farm it away. Pings out the... Uh, everyone's pinging out fully right now. So, is this guy serious? Just sandstorming in front of our invoker? <laughs> Do we get someone up here to kill him? But no, Moon, he just TP'd uh, to the bottom. All right, here he comes. Flea, yeah, no. Tornado. And Flea is in trouble. He's been dusted. He's on the run. Right clicks in. And Kezu gets another kill. He's going for an Orchid for uh, this Nature's Prophet who's keeping up with Costa Bile. Costa Bile, I will say, is getting a decent chunk of fun. Mm hmm. Okay. Lay the main ties out. Mini will go down again. Oh, Moon with these precision rolls into the enemy team. Trial now godlike. 21 and 4, 13 minutes into the game. You know, I think this is uh, one of the more one-sided matches we've seen. Not as far as net worth goes, but definitely for kills. Because the B-Lay's keeping up with uh, the net worth of the Arc Warden and the Invoker. Yeah, sure. He's only sitting like, what, 600, 700 behind? The issue is uh, if he's going to be able to pull off this damage, because like we were saying, there's a lot he needs to be able to deal with uh, Bubble Boy here. Bubble Boy just sitting in his bubble with the right clicks off on him. Metamorphosis is just too hard to use. What does he have on this Arc Warden? He's got Midas Maelstrom. Bottom lane right. Bryle, who is now getting they close see them, to being surpassed. They're not going to allow them to, to get anything off of this. I mean, Bryo's pinging him out. He's underneath the effects of Ghost Walk right now. You have to play very tight. Now we sit behind him. Actually, they might get this. The counter initiation. The issue is they have no jump to get on top of Invoker or Aoi. They need the Blink Dagger on Flea, and he's still so far from it. Tornado. Cold Snap. Oh, gosh. Wrath of Nature doing so much damage, and he's got this Orchid on the Nature's Prophet, so now, like, he can play even more aggressively. Veil being built for Moomeander, BKB for the Invoker. Like, Mini, all he's got right now is two Null Talismans and a Staff of Wizardry, wizardry looking for a Yule. So he be right on top. He might use the Thunder God's Wrath before he loses all his mana. Costa Bioli trying to get some right clicks in. Looks over at Moomeander. Bryo gets the kill on a Mini. They've got the Spirit Siphon, but just don't have the control. They look to get this last click, and they do, but it's still so tough for them to just kill the Earth Spirit. Yeah, and again, this is the, like the Suicide Initiator. He's the only melee hero. He goes in, puts himself out of position in order to get kills. Uh, he's more than happy to trade himself for the Zeus. I mean, you gotta take those uh, when you're down uh, 23 to 5, but... You know, so does he. Exorcism runs out, so... You can just continue running at them on the side of crazy. This bottom tier one is the last uh, tier one tower they have up. Snap again. Okay. KJ, he's dead for the sixth time. He's 06 and 2. Flea's 06 and 1. Like, you could see just the struggles for Brazil all over the map. Yeah. 
Coast to Bila. He had pop metamorphosis there, now just uh, farming up his ancients, but it's hard, you know, he'll have his Manta style, but uh, so what? I feel like at that point, too many items are going to be on this arc board. He's going to be able to click you down and blow you up. They're holding, but they're forced to play so dangerously. All right, Flea's just dead again. Yeah, dusted, Burrow Strike, Geo Magnetic Grip, not getting far. He'll end up dead, dead for the seventh time. Crazy, this game, they have looked outstanding with their movements. Like, it, it's really been DX. Like, that's when you know Brazil is having a good time, even though they're losing, I feel like. They yeah. Have to be here. Uh, oh, no. Ogre Magi, KJ, dead again. Well, if we can't have more deaths than KJ, that's just not right. They have to have the same amount. Okay, yeah, Moonbender just doesn't stop. I feel like he's constantly just rolling. Now they go after Mini, they find themselves in the mid. They get the kill on a Zeus, and it's 27 to 5. Like, Coast to Beale, you can get all the farm in the world, but it doesn't feel like you're going to bring your team back from this. No. Not when you're this far behind. Um, <laughs> as you say, Moonbender has just been rolling around the map nonstop. Uh, his biggest issue right now, even though he's not using that many, is he's run out of rocks. He's just... Rolling boulders so often into these enemies that uh, he's out of them. Top lane. Yeah, I think he's going to try to secure himself a couple last hits to secure himself that Veil of Discord. Uh, oh, Mini comes up here, but I, I don't think this is something you, you do. Bring yourself to Moon Meander. Save him the trouble of heading over to you. Save him a couple of rocks. And immediately he has to go so far back here. Right now they, they need this uh, blink dagger on Flea in order to jump the enemies and get some kills, but it's still pretty far off now. Need another 750 gold for it? What does he find the space for it right now? I feel like it's going to be another like 3-4 minutes before he manages to find a blink dagger. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Rio Kazu. Dyer have the trance, runs the boys of the tower. They forward up, but with uh, that down, you know, susceptible to an even bigger push. What's going to stop him from taking these tier threes after this tier two here? Uh, you need your fortify. Yeah, it's looking like there's not many answers. And TFN continuing to farm up, but the gap between him and the arc wounds increasing now. I mean. You can shovel in with your illusions, you have tons of agility, yeah, but you're not going to be able to keep up with this arc board when he's got this Midas Bjolnir Travels build. You know, he's farming every lane at once, uh, much like a tinker. Philosopher Stone. You know, that can help flee for a little while. Just going to say, you know what, I need my Blink Dagger handed over. He's about to have it, though, and they do have the ability to secure a couple of kills uh, once he gets his Blink. Oh, oh no, that happened so fast. KJ dead again, you know what that means, flee. He needs to uh, die once more. Gotta even it up, you know? Yep, bottom lane HFN opts to start farming these TB illusions on top of the creeps. And there, there it go. is, they go for flee. They find him, and they kill him. You know what, they may have gotten him, but flee got his blink dagger. Mission accomplished, you know? Kills are now uh, something that's possible for them. Mid lane. Oh my god! Jeez, oh, they just blew him up! BKV popped by Bryo, nothing Mini can do. They've got the cold snaps and the spirit vessel on the King RD. I mean, I guess Mini's got a Yule, so life is okay. Died with his tre power treads on Int under that EMP on Terra Blade as well, and everyone's gonna laugh at him and call him things like Intel Boy. Right, 31 and 5. Your towers are taken down. You did uh, grab that tier 1 just a moment ago, so I don't know, they lost Fortify again. And uh, everyone goes to Roshan, they said, you know what, we'll clean this up, we'll play uh, textbook Dota. Before we push the tier 3 towers, we'll grab this one. And this does open up a window of opportunity for Team Brazil. They have the Blink Dagger complete on Flea. I'm not sure if the enemies know this. Uh, the epicenter into the uh, the Burrow Strike is uh, now a tool in their kit. With the Zeus as well, they do have the ability to take down the enemies here. But they don't know that they're there quite yet. Now that they've 
I think, I think if they ran right away, they might have been able to get them, but now it's too late. Yeah, way too late. KB from Bryo goes for KJ. Going Boulder to the back lines though, catches Mini, and now the silence is out on Moon Meander, but they get the kill on a KJ and flee. They go hand in hand at this point. Kezu ends up dead. Down goes Mini. Three for one so far. Rolling Boulder away from Moon Meander. They've got King Ardine in a bad spot. Who yules himself up in the air. Moon Meander a little bit early on the Rolling Boulder, but they still kill off this Death Prophet. He goes into They're the last looking. as well. Look at this reach that they've got though. Yeah, so far. You think you can get away, Costa B? Like, you're already dead. That might just be the call. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. You just the reach there. I don't know how you defend this. I really don't see how you come back in this game. All right, he's got uh, Epicenter on Sanking, though. But uh, again, your Zeus is down. If you were going to get that uh, crazy Epicenter game turnaround, it, it would have had to been it's in Epicenter that Epicenter level pit. one. I don't even know how much damage this is really going to do. Got the stun They're of the crystal maiden, but flee. Yeah, he ends up dead. They go after KJ as well as me. If they could just clean up these two, I, I mean, it just shows how little they can do in these situations. They go for the fire blast that's out in the Ark Warden, but he's staying forward. He's got the Aegis. They have the silence out of the Death Prophet as well as the Tornado with the Spirit Vessel on him up 21,000. Slow him up. They've got a Spark Wraith under his feet when he lands with his Yules and with the Rolling Boulder from Moon Meander. They'll get the kill. They'll end up losing this Earth Spirit, but honestly, that doesn't even feel like it's enough to force back crazy no no <laughs> oh, 38 KJ. to 7 uh kj you don't get to walk up onto them it doesn't matter if moon's dead they still got the aegis <sighs> positioning crazy have been uh so aggressive this game and there they call it you know they say all oh, right we'll take uh earth spirit and <laughs> that's it from us at least we got Moomy. Brazil not looking nearly as strong without uh, without 4DR this game. Maybe I mean this next game uh, his net issues will be fixed, but only 23 minutes to resolve the problem. I'm not sure uh, we're gonna see him back just yet. Yeah, let me tell you, when I have to resolve my problems, they don't go away that quickly. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he still has net issues. And look at Bryle, 14 and 16, involved in 30 of the 39 kills. Did a very amazing job on that invoker. Destroyed mid. Mini, of course, having problems coming in here and just trying to be that stand-in. And, and really, you know, I, I can't blame him too much coming into a situation like this. But Flea and KJ combined 0 20 and 4. Um, just a bad situation all around for Team Brazil on that game. And unfortunately, it's something that they should really try to just look past and go to the next one because that yeah. was um, honestly just a, a very one-sided affair. You can look at what Bryle's got, you know, his GPM, his XPM compared to Mini. Like, there was just, I mean, Spirit Vessel, Boots, Spirit Vessel, and then a BKB, and there's just nothing for Mini really except the Yules, so... I mean, that's it for game one. We'll be back with game two in just a moment. Stay right there. We'll be right back.